Hey there everyone. Welcome back to Cyber Security TV. Today we're going to talk about something that's been keeping business owners wide awake at night lately. Yes, you guessed it. Cyber attack. Now we've all seen the headlines. Ransomware crippling hospitals, phishing scams straining bank accounts and so forth. Why is this happening? The truth is you don't really need a Fortune 500 budget to protect your businesses. On that note, Today I'm going to walk you through a practical step-by-step -step process to audit your own systems, fix critical vulnerabilities and build a security foundation that actually works even if you're no tech genius. So, no jargons, no sales pitches, let's just get into actionable advice. My first main question is, what do you think? Why small businesses? Now, small businesses are usually the most perfect target for cyber criminals. Why? It's not because your data is more valuable, but simply because it's really easy to steal. Now, just think about it. You have outdated softwares, shared passwords, unsecured Wi-Fi networks. These are all like the low-hanging fruits for hackers. In 2024 alone, over 60% of ransomware attacks hit small and medium enterprises with fewer than 100 employees. Now, while it does sound dramatic, one compromised laptop can literally and actually bankrupt a business. But here's the good news. Most breaches are preventable with just some basic controls. So let's break down on firstly how to find your weak spots. Step one is the self-audit. Know what you're protecting, your devices, your data and your people. Now, security starts with knowing what you're protecting. So you might want to take note of what I'm about to say next because this literally is your roadmap. Map your digital footprint. List every device, laptops, phones, printers, even that smart thermostat in the lobby. If it is connected to your network, it is a potential entry point for cyber attackers. Next, identify your crown jewels customer data, financial records, intellectual property. Ask the most basic question. What would hurt most if it vanished tomorrow? Next, check who has admin rights. Does your former bookkeeper still have access to QuickBooks? A shocking number of breaches start with old employee accounts. Maybe make an asset inventory. If you find devices you don't recognize, then that's your first red flag. This brings me to step two of the DIY security upgrades. You don't need tech degrees for this. Um, so let's turn those red flags into green check marks. We start with the most basic. Updates aren't optional. Software vulnerabilities are hackers' favorite backdoor. So enable automatic updates for everything. Operating systems, routers, even the accounting app that you barely use. Now, the next is passwords aren't going to save you. A strong password is like locking your front door. But multi-factor authentication or MFA is adding the dead bolt. So if your email or bank accounts offer MFA, turn it on right now. And the most important is backups because these are your safety nets. The thumb of the rule is if you haven't tested restoring data from a backup, you don't have backups. So store one copy offline, a USB drive in a safe beats a hacked cloud account. The third step of this process is beyond the basics. So we're going to think like a hacker. Now you've patched the obvious holes. So let's get a little more tactical. Train your team with fake phishing emails. If 30% or more click, then my friend, you've got work to do. Awareness is free, but ignorance is often going to cost you millions. Then is network segmentation. Isolate sensitive systems. Your payment processor shouldn't be on the same network as the guest Wi-Fi. A basic VLAN setup can save you from this dramatic catastrophe. Monitor, don't assume. Free tools like Wazoo can alert you to suspicious logins. And while some of you may think that these steps are almost becoming paranoid, it isn't that. It's simply about being prepared. But now again, who am I to say? While all this seems daredevil to many of you, let's be real. A lot of you are just business owners at heart and not full-time IT admin. So if you're drowning in SaaS apps, handling medical or financial data, or just want some peace of mind in today's world, it's time to look for a partner. And that's where Securify fits in. Our carefully customized plans offer vulnerability scans, emergency responses, and a step-by-step -step roadmap tailored for your business in specific requirements. But we're not here to upsell you. We're here to simply simplify security with Securify. Because Security isn't a one-time project, guys. It's a habit. So start small. Pick up maybe one tip from this video and implement it today. 
then come back next week when we dive into yet another security basic that might work for your business and you never even knew that you needed it.